so in this lecture we are going to discuss the properties of skeletal muscles we have already uh, discussed the uh, structure and function of the skeletal muscles uh, right from the start of their um, gross morphology till their molecular level how they contract what are the molecular basis of their contraction but now some of the abilities uh, some of the properties of the skeletal muscles uh, which needs to be discussed further so the first and most important uh, property of the skeletal muscle is excitability so the excitability it is basically the uh, defined as a reaction or response of a tissue to a stimulus suppose for example uh, the, a muscle or a tissue any tissue if um, if it responds to any type of stimulus that is known uh, that uh, muscle or the tissue will be uh, considered as excitable uh, excitable and basically we already discussed that there are two main types of excitable tissue in the human body one was the nerve uh, neurons or the nerves and the second is the muscles so the muscles are also excitable and they basically respond to uh, respond to stimuli now what is basically a stimuli a stimulus or stimuli stimulus is basically a change in the environment it is a change in the environment for example a muscle is basically a muscle is present here this is a muscle of a human arm which is attached with a bone for example here and there and any change in the environment any change in the environment comes and this uh, basically this muscle responds to this change that will then it will be considered as excitable and that change in environment known as the stimulus it could be of many types the change in the environment or the stimulus could be mechanical change mechanical change could be like touch touching of the muscle for example then the change in environment or the stimulus could be electrical like electric shock to a muscle the change in environment could be could be chemical for example acetylcholine or any chemical released uh, and its action on a muscle so the stimulus could be mechanical chemical or um, thermal change in temperature for example if it's very really cold uh, the human uh, muscle the skeletal muscle starts shivering to produce heat so these are all the responses of the muscle to change in the environment also known as the stimulus the stimulus basically has two main important qualities one is the intensity of the stimulus and the other is duration and their relationship of these two qualities of a stimulus will be discussed with the help of strength duration curve so what is the basically the intensity of a stimulus intensity is basically um, uh, intensity is basically the ability or the strength of a stimulus or a change in the environment to produce some change in the muscle this intensity it is basically divided into some uh, categorically with the increase or decrease in uh, in in its level from minimal or for example sub minimal sorry sub minimal to minimal sub maximal maximal and supra maximal suppose for example change in environment uh, change in the temperature occurs and the change is not very much high or there is no such uh, there is the change is very little then there then that will be considered that change or that stimulus its intensity will be considered sub minimal and this sub minimal stimulus will not be able to produce any excitability or any power or any contraction in the muscle that that stimulus or that change in environment will be considered sub minimal 
if the change is just enough to produce some change in strength of the muscle or just excite it then that change or that stimulus will be considered as minimal if a minimal if a some uh, tissue or some muscle is resistant enough to be excited by the minimal stimulus then a, a higher stimulus will be required to activate that muscle and that will be known as the submaximal like it will not be in a maximal stimulus but it will be a little bit less than the maximal stimulus then the maximal stimulus is the one which will produce maximal contraction or maximal change in the skeletal uh, in the muscle and the supra maximal is the level above which the increase in force of contraction is not possible all these changes will be considered and they will be discussed with the duration with the help of this graph so excitability of a tissue or a skeletal muscle is its ability to respond to a stimulus but the stimulus the stimulus could be chemical electrical thermal it could be change in temperature it could be change in some chemical constituent of the tissues it could be change in uh, some electric intensity and so the stimulus has two important characteristic one is its intensity and the other is its duration now we plot the excitability of the muscle and we compare its strength of its strength or its intensity of contraction with its duration and we will explain few terms this this curve which will correlate the strength and duration is known as the strength duration curve this plot this graph will be plotted by exciting a muscle this will be plotted by exciting a muscle with a very high intensity for example a very high temperature or a very high change in chemical or any uh, cut or prick or stimulus like me any sort of stimulus chemical mechanical any sort of st stimulus at its highest or maximal or supra maximal intensity is brought for a specific duration and that change or that intensity of contraction it is plotted here then this duration this intensity of the stimulus is decreased for a specific duration of time and then this change in intensity or the change in the power of force of con con contraction is noted the decrease is noted and it is plotted over here then the intensity of the stimulus the intensity in the change in the stimulus like change in temperature or mechanical or whatever because the stimulus could be of any type it is decreased further and the intensity of contraction or the force of contraction the decrease in the intensity decrease in force of contraction then it is plotted at another level and the intensity and the duration is further decreased it is further decreased till it, it touches the lowest level all these points all these points are combined together and this graph is obtained so the strength duration curve or this graph is basically obtained by by applying the maximum the maximal or the supra maximal stimulus to this muscle and noting its uh, ex, uh, its strength or power and then slowly and gradually decreasing the strength and duration of the stimulus and plotting all the facts and figures with the help of this graph when this plot this graph has been plotted it will show us some few important points the most important one will be rio base which has been shown with the help of rio base r rio base is the minimum intensity it is the minimum intensity which will be like it will be the minimal as we discussed that the stimulus could be sub minimal minimal supra sub maximal maximal and supra maximal it is 
Rio base is the minimal intensity with which a muscle with contract. So this is the minimal level. This is the minimal level. The strength. This is the minimal strength with which a muscle will contract. If any stimulus is below this level, if any stimulus is below this level, any stimulus below this level, that will not produce any contraction. So Rio base is the minimal stimulus that will produce any contraction in the muscle. Then the utilization time, utilization time, it is the minimal amount of time the minimal amount of time for which Rio base will be applied so that a muscle can contract or it can produce some force. So Rio base is the minimum minimum strength or the minimal power of stimulus that must be applied but it must be applied for a minimum duration of time for a certain duration of time it must be applied, it must be started at the zero second, it will be proceed toward one second, two second. For example, we are just considering an, an example. When the time duration has completed, only then will the muscle be showing some force of contraction or some change or some excitability. So Rio base is the minimal stimulus at which the muscle respond and utilization time is the minimal time for which the Rio base must be applied so that the, the muscle shows some force of contraction or some stimulus. Then the, the, the last term, terminology is the chronexy. Chronexy basically it is used to see the time duration. How it is used to see the time duration? Chronexy is the double strength of Rio base. For example, the Rio base here was 1, then we use the double of Rio base that is 2, we increase the, we double the strength of Rio base and apply that stimulus and then we see in how much time will it produce the power, how much time it will generate some force, how in how much time it will produce some contraction and that time is considered as the chronexy. So chronexy is the stimulus that has double the strength, that has double the strength of Rio base. You see this is chronexy and this is Rio base. So chronexy has double the strength. It has double the strength. This is half and this is full. So chronexy is double the strength of Rio base that is applied for a certain amount of time to produce contraction. And it is basically used to see the time duration that if a double stimulus or a, a stimulus with for example maximal or supra maximal stimulus or a mix, uh, power is used then it will produce power in how what, uh, what amount of time so these are basically the this is basically the first property of the skeletal muscle and that is the excitability Excitability is nothing but it is the ability of the muscle to respond to a stimulus. Stimulus is a change in the environment. Stimulus is a touch. Stimulus is heat or cold. Stimulus is chemical. Stimulus could be electric current. So stimulus could be of any type. The stimulus has two important characteristics. Its strength or duration and it, its strength or intensity and its duration. So the intensity could be subminimal, at which it will not be able to produce any contraction or force. It could be minimal, where it will be defined as the Rio base for the skeletal muscle. And it could be sub-maximal, sub like above the minimum, above the minimum, minimum, but not the maximum. It could be maximum or supra-maximum. So these are different intensities of the stimulus and then the duration is the time for which the stimulus must be applied till and only then a muscle will produce some contraction and this relation between strength and duration is uh, explained with the help of strength duration curve and how this curve is drawn 
initially a high stimulus is applied and it is plotted then the the power of stimulus the intensity of stimulus is slowly gradually decreased and it is plot it is plotted and when it is plotted it is seen that the minimum amount of stimulus the minimal power that is needed to generate some force of contraction in muscle that is known as the rio base and the time required for the rio base to produce that contraction will be known as the utilization time and if the amount of stimulus the the the, the intensity of the rio base is doubled and it is applied then it is seen that the, the amount of time in which the uh, that double strength of rio base produces contraction that that will be known as chronexy so hope you have understood these terminologies and if there is any query you can ask in the comments thanks a lot for watching the video